Joan Gibson is the senior director um, of University Partnerships and the Academic Excellence at Boys Hope, Girls Hope International. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Where are you based out of? Uh, Bridgeton, Missouri. So um, a lot of people know about Boys Hope, Girls Hope. And they know it as the local St. Louis chapter. Yes. And you're part of the national chapter. Correct. Okay. Correct. Explain the difference. So uh, Boys Hope, Girls Hope International is basically the umbrella headquarter organization under which all of our affiliates kind of fall under. How many uh, 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 affiliates are there? 16. 14 here in the U.S., one in Guatemala, and one in Mexico. And was it started here in St. Louis? Yes, in 1977 by Father Paul Sheridan, a Jesuit priest. Right. Mm -hmm. He's still very actively involved with us and everything. Yeah. Yeah, even greeted me on my first day of work last year and it's so it's now an international charity yes it's been an international organization for when, several years now when did it start 1977 and what's the premise uh the premise is that we assist uh high achieving children in need to really kind of adjust the trajectory of their lives, um, having come from uh, very disadvantaged backgrounds and uh, just really uh, difficult circumstances. We help them adjust that with uh, personal growth, academic development, spiritual formation, uh, really working to help develop them as uh, just whole people that contribute to society in positive ways. And uh, you brought with you today Shalexis yes. Poole. Shalexis, you were with Boys Hope, Girls Hope of Illinois. Uh, you're currently attending St. Louis Uni University. Congratulations. Thank you. Where are you from in um, Illinois? Chicago. And what are you studying in uh, SLU? I'm studying biology on a pre-med track right now. Holy mackerel. That's uh, right. What uh, grade are you? I'm a freshman. You're a freshman, so <laughs> yes. you just started. Yes. H how's it going? It's going good. It's hard. It's an adjustment, but it's nothing that I can't handle. Good for you. Um, all right. So what's this partnership you have you, you want to talk about? So, yeah, part of my role is um, I'm responsible for developing relationships and building partnerships with colleges and universities um, that provide uh, um, opportunities for our students to go to school for little to no cost. Uh, St. Louis University has been an excellent uh, first partner of ours. Mm -hmm. um, we have an established agreement, and uh, they work with us to host a collegiate prep seminar. It's an um, activity that we do every summer for graduating seniors heading off to college to help them transition. Um, they um, uh, provide a scholarship opportunity. Uh, it's an enhanced tuition package that Shalexis is a part of. And yeah, they've been excellent partners and really helped us develop a partnership model that we're implementing with other colleges and universities. So how's that work? If she was in a Boys Hope, Girls Hope home in Chicago, yes. could, could she go to a school on the West Coast or East Coast that, that you have a deal with? Yeah, um, yes. As we establish those partnerships, they are for the entire network. So we are creating access and affordability options right. for our scholars across the U.S. Pretty special stuff, huh? It is. It's exciting. Yeah. yeah. And when the, you have the partnership, what does that then do for the school, and what does that do for Boys Hope, Girls Hope? Well, for us, it provides opportunities, uh, a diverse array of opportunities for higher education, right. um, you know, from across the country, small schools, a medium research institution like St. Louis University. Uh, we have another really strong partnership with St. Olaf College in Northfield, Minnesota, mm -hmm. um, where some of Stilexis' sibling scholars from Chicago go to school on our partnership agreement there. Right. Um, and I think for the school, it benefits them in that... Um, um, a lot of these schools are mission driven in the sense that they have an, an intense access mission to help students like the ones that we serve. Mm -hmm. uh, are you a Cardinal fan yet? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought you said no. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't hear that correctly. Uh, you know, for being a smart kid, I don't know how smart you are. <laughs> You're not a Cubs fan, are you? Mm. Really? <laughs> Well, you're welcome down here. Uh, when you make your millions, don't forget about giving back to St. Louis University and giving back to the region, right? Yes. Uh, what, what's your goal? What's your long-term goal? My long-term goal is to work in the hospital, mm -hmm. being a pediatrician. I just love children. I've been surrounded by them ever since I was younger, and I grew a love for them. So I want to help them in the best way possible. Good for you. Now, why did you pick uh, St. Louis University? I knew that I would be academically challenged here. It's a lot to get involved in. And I love the campus. As soon as I came, I fell in love with the campus, staff, everyone was nice. And I knew that it would be a great fit for me. And, and how long were you involved with Boys Hope, Girls Hope up in Chicago? I started my freshman year all the way to senior year, so four years. And you live in the Boys Hope, Girls Hope home up in sh Chicago. Yes. Yeah. And it's not, I mean, it's a rigorous program, right? I mean, you're doing yes. chores as well as homework and everything else. Yes, along with other outside 
outside activities yeah. and events. How many kids lived in the Boys Hope Girls Hope home up in Chicago? There were six other girls in the house with me. Okay. Is that it that seems like, like that's the number, right? Six, seven. I mean, there's not much bigger. Yeah, the capacity varies from affiliate to affiliate, yeah. but maximum it's between ten to twelve. But in New York, um, there are over a hundred students in that model. All got, and it all got started right here in St. Louis. Right here in St. Louis. That's a pretty neat deal. It is. All right. Uh, what do we, what is our website where people can find out more? Yes. BHGHinternational.org. BHGHinternational.org. Yes. Uh, Shalexis Poole, welcome to St. Louis. Thank you. And uh, you have four years here. You'll be a Cardinal fan by the time it's all said <laughs> yeah. and done. La- uh, LaShawn Gibson, yes. thanks for coming in. Thank you so much. You got it. All right. Boys Hope, Girls Hope, one of the... Great charities here in uh, St. Louis. Started here in St. Louis. It's now how many? How many affiliates did you say? Six, sixteen. Sixteen. Fourteen in the U.S. One in Mexico and one in Guatemala. Really pretty special. Thanks for coming in, guys. Thank you. All right, that's it.